Hola, my darling friends. Welcome back to Flow, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 20. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's incredible, and the journey inward continues. Let's get started. All right, come into a comfortable seat and let's bring the palms together and start rubbing them. Nice and slow to start, just allowing your shoulders to drop, allowing your attention to draw inward. Thank you so much for being here. I know as the days continue on this journey, it gets challenging to show up for yourself. Most important thing you can do sometimes gets further and further down on the list. So thank you so much for being here. Start to pick up the speed of the hands. Start to feel the warmth of your own touch. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale in deeply. And exhale, bring the hands to the chest, to the heart center. Again, feel the warmth of your own Touch here, you can tuck the chin, close your eyes, lengthen through the crown of the head. Start to gently deepen your breath. And as we continue to add more vocabulary to the physical practice, just a sweet, sweet, friendly reminder that this is time for you to go inward to connect with your spirit, your heart's song. And through that process, we just get to be who we really are. We get to practice listening and loving who we really are. Just a little reminder that that's there for you as we continue to move and groove and flow together. Cool. Bat the eyelashes open, release the fingertips to the earth. Inhale in, exhale, draw the chin to the chest. You're just gonna take some slow circles with the nose one way. Continuing to gently deepen your breath, maybe finding an audible breath or a little textured breath here today, something that feels good and supportive for where you are in this moment. Reverse the circle, find what feels good here. Then bring it back to center. Draw your left heel in to your body. Uncross your legs and then draw your right heel into your body. So we're in a pose or an asana called sadasan. One foot in front of the other. Feel free to sit up on a blanket, of course, as always. Sit up nice and tall here. Inhale in, lift the chest. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. You're gonna catch the weight of your palms on your front leg. Breathe, inhale, lift and lengthen through the crown. Shoulders actively draw down and then exhale, chin to chest. Hang for a moment. Last time, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, navel draws back and we round through the spine. From here, fingertips are gonna crawl forward, forward, forward until we find length through the crown of the head again. Forehead come, sorry, not forehead, forearms <laughs> come to the mat, maybe the forehead. No need to push it. And then we're just gonna find a nice, soft, easy stretch here. Think about pulling your right hip crease actively back. Of course, you're always welcome to grab a prop here to support you, a blanket, a towel, or a block could be nice. Breathe. The sits bones are gonna want to lift up 
So actively reach them down so you feel that nice opening in the left hip, outer left hip. Breathe deep. Notice how with every breath your experience in this hip stretch evolves. Another way to say that is notice if you're just kind of waiting for the stretch to end, can you instead enter into the experience with your breath? and let that shape how you feel in the pose. So that's a lot easier to do when you're flowing to a fast pace in a vinyasa. Can we also find that flow with the breath here as we spend some time with our hips today? Okay, slowly press it back up. Nice. Soles of the feet come together, hands come to the arches of the feet or the ankles, Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose. Lift up through the chest, draw down through the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Send the heels out, toes flex towards your face, Dandasana, breathe in, breathe out. Now bend the knees, lean it back, quick little boat ride, just a little mini boat ride. Lift the shins, lift the heart. And then slowly come back to center, right heel in first this time, left leg to follow. Inhale, lift the chest, think cow pose here, lengthen. Extend, exhale, round through the spine, cat pose, chin to chest. You can catch a little weight in the palms here. Feel that deep stretch in the cervical spine, in the whole spine, but feel that nice stretch of the neck. Okay, inhale, we roll through, root down through the sits bones, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. And again, I love that idea of the spine as the super highway for our energetic body. Just a wonderful way to check in. Not to mention your posture too, everything. Inhale, lift the heart, exhale. Next time you're rounded forward, stay there. Then we'll release the hands, fingertips crawl forward, and we slowly slide through to extension in the crown, finding forearms on the earth, or maybe elbows or hands on a block, or maybe reaching all the way forward. Breathe in here. Actively reach the hip creases back. Keep those sits bones rooted best you can. Soften the skin of the forehead. Relax your jaw. Breathe. And again, just as your friend, as your humble guide, can this be an opportunity today to really practice using the breath to embody the experience in the posture. So notice if you're kind of waiting for it to end, thoughts are wandering, filling that time and space. Can we use the breath and continue to practice being present with our experience? audible, textured breath to assist you in that journey. Mm -hmm. All right, tip your hat to the left hip, our left hip, one last breath. And then slowly 
root down through the base of the spine to lift back up. We'll come to cobbler's pose once again. Soles of the feet come together. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. And then send the legs out long, heels press out, toes flex up towards the face, lift the heart, lift the chest. Good, and then little short, tiny little boat ride. Here we go, lean back, lift the heart, lift the shins. Maybe this time the fingertips reach forward, palms face up. Breathe in, breathe out, cross the ankles here and then take your center through all the way to all fours. Nice. From here, center yourself on the mat, press into the tops of the feet, press away from your yoga mat. So find that length from crown to tail and be really disciplined about that here. Nice. Curl the right toes under, just the right toes, <clears throat> and send the right heel back. Now slide the right toes back towards the back left corner of your mat and then turn to look towards your right toes, breathe. Beautiful, slide it back to tabletop position. Left toes curl under, send the left heel back. And then when you're ready, slide the left toes towards the back right corner of your mat. Turn to look past your right shoulder at your left toes. Should feel nice opening in the left oblique, left waistline, left hip crease. And then slide it back to center. From here, we're gonna walk the palms forward, curl the toes under, and peel. Think about a peeling today of the tailbone up. So the knees may stay bent as you slowly lift the hips up high, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Find that wave of the breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. On your next inhale, slowly shift it forward. Step your right foot all the way up to a nice low lunge. Bring your right hand to the left side of your mat and then you can lower your left knee to the earth. Breathe here. Turn your right toes towards the outer edge of your mat, outer right edge of your mat, and breathe, breathe, breathe. Recruit a prop if you, if you like it to, if you need to, if you desire. Forearms can come down to the earth here, or fingertips or palms stay to support us. We soften through the jaw. We actively pull the right hip crease back here in external rotation. Left knee can stay on the ground, or if you like, you can lift it up. Breathe, lizard pose. Now this is a good shape to notice if you're holding your breath, if you're waiting for it to end. Use your breath to help shape your experience here. Conscious breath. Focus on the sensations of your body. Where can I soften? Where can I add stability or support? Drawing the attention inward by paying attention to the details, listening and responding with your breath. If back knee is lifted, go ahead and lower it. Then we'll slowly walk the right foot back to center. Frame the right foot with your hands. Inhale to look forward. Exhale just to all fours. Take that right knee back. Spread the fingertips. Curl the toes under. Once again, think about peeling from the tailbone, lifting the hip creases up high. So just a different way of entering downward dog, focusing on the how. Breathe in here, breathe out. And then when you're ready, nice and slow, begin to shift forward. We're gonna step the left foot all the way up into the lunge. Bring the right hand around, excuse me, left hand around to meet the right. Lower your right knee, and then we'll dial the left toes towards the left edge of the mat, breathe. 
Notice if you're crashing down into your wrists here, engage the abdominal wall. It's there to support you. And we'll just check out this side. Maybe forearms come down. Maybe back knee lifts, maybe not. Relax the skin of the forehead. Waking up the whole body with your breath. Paying attention to the sensation, noticing, oh, am I kind of pushing it here? What, what, do I, what would it be like if I kind of backed up a little, eased back a little? Take one more breath, and if the back knee is lifted, go ahead and slowly lower it to the ground. And we'll walk the left foot back to center, frame the left foot with your hands. Inhale to look forward, and then exhale to tabletop position. Nice. In tabletop, walk the knees together, really together, zip the legs up tight. Then shift your weight forward so that your shoulders are directly over your wrists and now you're in a little half plank position. Good, inhale in here, exhale, bend the elbows just halfway, look forward, little grasshopper arms. Good, then press back up. Two more just like that. Squeeze the elbows into the side body, look forward. Press back up, one more. and then slowly lower all the way to your belly. Press the tops of the feet down. Inhale for cobra. Exhale to release. Nice. Shift your weight over towards the left side of your mat and slowly turn on your right ear, right shoulder, and have fun as you slowly open up, lying on your back here. We'll cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh for a little figure four. Breathe, relax. Maybe close the eyes. Time well spent with yourself. And then we'll switch. Left ankle crosses the top of the right thigh, same thing. Relax, breathe. Enjoy these last couple minutes of this devoted time to go inward, cultivating a beautiful conversation with your mind and body, a conscious conversation. A conversation at all, right? When the mind and body are not in conversation, we can definitely feel out of our groove, out of the flow. All right, let's sneak in a happy baby. Grab the outer edges of the feet. Lengthen your tailbone towards the front edge of your mat, the new front edge of your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release everything. Extend the legs out long, or you can bring them feet to the outer edges of your mat and allow the knees to fall together if that feels better in your low back today after the work we just did. Find a posture to end in. And now relax everything, a flash of surrender. How fast can you surrender, let go? Thank you so much for showing up. You truly are my hero. It's so beautiful and important that we take this time to connect to ourselves. And it's an honor to connect to each other here. So thank you again. We'll bring the palms together, thumbs to third eye. And let's inhale lots of love in together. And exhale lots of love out to close. See you tomorrow.
namaste